Good day, everybody. We're back. Yeah, you can wave now. <laughs> She's waiting for me to turn the camera on. And today, <laughs> we're going to be doing the brakes on a 2018 cruise. Now, we've already jacked it up and put our jack stands under it. You guys have seen us do this before. We've taken the wheel off. So, having said that, let's get to it. We're going to start by taking our caliper slider pins out right here. Those are 14s. Let's do that. They're a little sticky. Just go ahead and give them a good smack on the wrench just like that. And that'll break them free. Then you can turn them out. And the bottom. And take them out. And of course, put all your parts in a parts bucket so you don't kick them around the floor. Okay, now we're going to remove the caliper. Neat little trick. Get in there with the bar. And just work that off like that. There we go. There's your caliper. Now just take a bungee cord. We're just going to hang that right off the strut for now, just like that. Just out of our way. Now we've gone ahead and turned the wheel, just so you guys can see in here a little better. Now we're going to get the caliper bracket off. You're going to need a 21 mil. Oh, these might be a little stiff. Mother. And the top one. Get, get out of the way so they can see. Put your parts in a parts bucket. And remove your caliper bracket. Okay, now we're going to remove our release springs or retaining springs. Just get under there like that with a pick tool. Oh, and let it go flying across the floor. And there they are right there. We're going to reuse those. There's nothing wrong with them. Right like that. Now we're going to remove our old pads, slide them out like that, there's one, that's the outer, and the inner has the squealer on it, this will tell you when your brakes are getting worn down, so make a note of that, you have to put it back the same way, oh it's a little stiff, give it a knock. We're going to take our spring clip out. Start at the bottom there. There you go. You get a little sticky. There we go. Same one on the back. Slide them over there. They're a little sticky, just give them a twist with a bar. Now we're going to go ahead and clean in here, and we're going to put a little brake lube in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get any rust out of there before we go any further here. Get your wire brush. You can use a wire wheel. Get any corrosion out of there. Just like that, nice and clean. Both, just like that. Now we're just going to check your slider pins. Make sure they're moving freely. And these seem to be fine. This is very important. 
This is what the caliper slides on when you release and apply the brakes. And if these bind up, you can get squealing and you cause bad brake wear and you can just, it'll mess everything up. So these are very important. So we're gonna clean them and re-lubricate them. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean the piston on the caliper. You wanna make sure this surface is nice and clean. Get any brake dust out of there, just like that. There you go, just like new. Once you've got it nicely cleaned, check your seal, make sure it's good, and this one is, and that's a good thing. And we're going to take an old brake pad, put it in there like that, and we're going to compress the piston. We have the C clamp. Just till it bottoms out. Just like that. Now we're going to remove the rotor, and you're going to need a T30 for this. It's held on by this one bolt. Oh, that came out good. And put that in your parts bucket, and remove your rotor. Now we're going to clean up this mating surface here and you can use uh, the wire brush and uh, you can use an, a wire wheel and that's what we're going to do because we have one. and clean center hub now before we reinstall the new rotor we're going to put a little corrosion inhibitor on there we're using deep creep this stuff works really good and it sticks around Get the excess, spread that around, that'll keep it from doing that again. Now we're going to install our new rotor. And you can see these are already, the surface has been treated, you can see the cross hatch in them. If they're not, if they're completely smooth, you have to give them a little 45 degree cross hatch. It'll help your brake pads break in and seat better so you don't get any squealing or any hot spots. This will keep the rotor from warping. So always check that before you put it on. And these are coated in like a wax grease to prevent them from rusting while they're in storage. You have to clean this off before you install your brake pads and everything. Take your brake clean and a clean shop towel. Give that a spray. And just wipe it off. We're going to do it again at the end when we've got everything together. We'll spray it down one more time. But this is just get the bulk of it off. Then we're going to install it on the car. you got to line up your hole for your T30 with that little hole there just like that and we're going to clean the front get all that oil off of there reinstall the retainer bolt Just tighten that down reasonably tight. We're going to clean off our slider pins. Just like that. That old stuff out of there. There's one. And we're going to 
put our brake lube on there just like that Now we're going to reinstall our slider pins, slide them in there. Uh, note that there's, this one has a little retainer on the end. It goes in the side with the numbers, just like that. Push that down, slide that in there. Oh, that's working just beautifully. That's sliding nice. And pull the boots back up on this ceiling ring here just like that and there she goes beautiful look at that mm -hmm. that's moving really good i'm going to put a little brake lube right in there and up here Don't need a lot. Spread it around. Install our new slider springs. Got that all lubed. Start with the top, just like that. And pop them in there. These are your pad adjustment springs. One. And start at the top. there that's good we're going to install our pads and you'll notice this has a squealer spring on it this one goes to the inside this one goes to the outside it's very important when you're handling these try to hold them on the edge don't touch the brake surface you don't want to get any oil from your fingers on the pad surface. Before we install these, we're going to put our brake lube on them. So let's do that. Put some brake lube on the ears. Just like that. Spread that around. You don't need a lot. Just a bit. This will help it slide freely in your adjustment springs or your anti-chatter springs. This is the inner, so we're going to put some in the middle here, right where it makes contact with the piston. And that one's ready to go. Put a little dot on your anti-chatter springs as well. Spread that around. Just a light coat. And install your new pads. And there's one. That's the inner. It's got the squealer on it. Or the screamer, sometimes people call it. Now the outer. Same process. Cautious not to touch the brake pad surface. There we go. Slide those in just like that. 
Now, if you do touch the surface, don't panic. Just clean it off with some brake clean. Just like that. We're going to go ahead and reinstall that. Just like that. We're going to put our release springs back in there. These, I find it's just easier to do on the car. That's why we put it on first. It's just easier than flopping around the floor with these. Because they're a little springy and we already have one go fly in there. So, just squeeze them together. And make sure they're in the little tabs there. Just like that. And there we go. We install our caliper retainer bolts. Make sure you're in place there. There she goes. Once you snug those up by hand, we're going to torque them down to 74 foot pounds. Turn it so it hits 70 and the zero, and then to the four. Perfect. Remove our clamp so we can reinstall our caliper. Slider pins in a little bit. Slide right on there just like that. Put your caliper bolts back in. And these we're going to torque to... 21 foot-pounds. That's right. All the way down to 20... There, and one. And there's your front brakes on your 2018 Cruise. Now, before you drive this thing, uh, you have to make sure you pump the brakes before you move the car a couple times because you want to make sure they're actually working. Uh, when you've released the piston and everything, they're going to be soft at first. Uh, we didn't get any air in the lines or anything, but if you did, then you have to bleed them. And that is the bleeder screw right here. That's her there. And you just pump the brakes and then hold it to the floor and then release this, let the air out, and then tighten it back up, and then pump again until you get no more air out. Uh, we put the C-clamp on this so we wouldn't get any air in there, so these are fine. Uh, just before you drive the car, make sure you pump the brakes, because the first pump, it's going to be soft, and then they're going to get pressure. So be very careful of that. Once you've done your brakes, make sure you pump them a couple times before you attempt to move the vehicle and make sure you've actually got brakes. And we're just going to give them one final cleaning. Just like that. And now we put the wheel back on. Reinstall the wheel. You got the socket? Mm-hmm. Go around and just snug them up by hand first. In a star pattern. Good rule of thumb when you're doing this, going around with a five lug pattern, 
just skip one and go to the next one and you'll get it right every time so if you're on this one skip one go to that guy and skip one go to that guy skip one go to this guy skip one go to that guy just like that now we're going to lower the car and tighten them up to 100 foot pounds Once you tighten them all up once round, go back to where you started and just check them again just to make sure. When you see that one moved a little bit, when you put pressure on the others, it might allow the first ones to turn a little bit more. So always go around twice, even three times, and just make sure they're all even. that one turned a little bit too so it's very important and there we go it's just the same uh, procedure on the other side so just rinse and repeat well we hope this is helpful to someone out there and thanks for watching everybody uh, we're going to do the back brakes as well, but they're a little different than the front, uh, but we're going to break this into two episodes. So if you're just doing the front of your car, uh, you watch this. If you're doing all four or you're just doing the back, uh, you can watch that one. And that way it's a little, they're a little shorter and it's not so drawn out. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. We had a lot of fun doing this. We hope you did too. Uh, thank you to Dennis and his daughter for letting us use their car to film this. And everybody down at Canadian Footwear, I still got my Blundstones and I love them. We both do. These things are great. You know, I didn't like them at first, but they don't have laces. But my God, are they ever comfortable. I've never had such a good, <laughs> good pair of work boots. So thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Come here, baby. <laughs> Don't forget to pet the cat. <laughs> oh, my big butterball. <laughs> <laughs>